All right, time to get back to Paul Hagen and find out what uh, what exactly is coming at us in the weather. Yeah, you got to watch out for those animals being on the move with cooler overnight yeah. temperatures now. So they're going to be rustling right. around a little bit, whether it's mountain lions or the family of trees that raids our fig tree every night. Let's take a look at what's <laughs> happening out there. A cold front did pass through the Bay Area earlier today. That was responsible for the cloud cover that we saw moving through. But unfortunately, those clouds didn't produce anything in terms of precipitation. Now that front has moved through, we're going to get the gustier offshore winds in its wake by tomorrow late in the morning. That's why that red flag warning for Solano County goes into effect at 10 a.m. So let's take a look at our fire danger index. And again, this just combines everything, the fire fuel moisture, the wind speed, the wind direction, the relative humidity levels, and just lets us rank it from zero to 10. We want to be as close to zero as possible, and that's where we're going to be this evening. But as we head into tomorrow morning, as that red flag warning goes into effect, that's when we're going to see some elevated values, not just in Solano County, where the red flag warning is in effect, but also into Napa County, especially the Napa Mountains there. We're going to be tracking that throughout the afternoon hours as well, but it looks like these values are going to peak by late morning into early afternoon, and in the communities, we're less than halfway up the scale, but the yellow shaded spots indicate where those values are going to be a little bit higher outside of the densely populated areas, especially higher in elevation, where the wind gusts are going to potentially approach about 35 miles an hour, but the Fire danger index values drop off significantly as we head into the rest of tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, then Friday. It is not going to be a major factor. Of course, we always have to watch for any fire getting started this time of year. Looking outside right now towards Oakland and Mount Diablo in the distance, it's been a cool day in the wake of that cold front. 56 degrees, the temperature in downtown San Francisco stayed below 60 all day. Other temperatures are in the 60s, exactly 60 right now in Oakland, just below in Santa Rosa and in Concord. These temperatures running close to 10 degrees below average even more than that in a couple of spots. As we head through tonight, temperatures are going to drop down mostly into the 40s inland, even all the way down to 40 degrees in Santa Rosa, still low 50s around the bay. And then tomorrow, more of a warm up. Despite the cool start, we're going to return to closer to average temperatures into the 60s with a few low 70s by lunchtime, with temperatures returning to the upper 60s, to around 70 degrees near the bay, farther into the 70s, farther inland. Upper 70s for most of the North Bay, low to mid 70s for the Santa Clara Valley with mid to upper 70s and some low 80s inland in the East Bay, while on the coast you're going to be in the lower half of the 60s. No rain in the forecast for the next several days, but the long-range data continues to point towards a better and better chance of seeing some moisture headed our way. This is the latest 6 to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. Shows a significant chance of above average rainfall, not just for the Bay Area, but for Northern California and into the Pacific Northwest. And it goes farther out than that. The 8 to 14 day outlook, which takes us close to the end of October, also shows a significant chance of above average rainfall. Doesn't mean it's locked in that it's going to rain, but it's a positive sign. It's just pretty far down the line in the seven day forecast. The last day, in fact, of the seven day forecast, we're going to bring a chance of showers to areas, especially north of the Golden Gate. Maybe we can expand it a little farther than that. In the short term, though, temperatures begin warming up tomorrow and they continue warming up into the first half of the weekend before we see a big temperature drop for the second half of the weekend. The temperatures back to below average levels for most of the first half of next week. The hot spots inland in the North Bay and in the East Bay reaching up into the low to mid 80s by Friday and Saturday, but then close to a 10 degree drop for the second half of the weekend with another ride on the temperature roller coaster. Hopefully we can see some precipitation, though, headed our way along with the ups and downs in our daily temperatures. We'll take a look at those day by day rain chances coming up at 530. Rain would be great. It'd be nice it to get it going. Fantastic. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Paul. Hmm?